Well, this should look familiar to you because we have another case of chord chord. We've got two chords intersecting, except this time we're not interested in angles. We're looking at segment lengths. In the old days, we call this the chord chord power theorems. And let's just summarize it this way. Red times blue equals orange times green too. So that's it. And we'll do a sample of this straight away. Okay, let's work out our first sample of a chord chord power theorem. And you see, I could vary this drawing a little bit, but this one is drawn to scale. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our red times blue equals orange times green too. And a little bit of arithmetic, and we've solved for x. x is 5. Easy enough. Let's move on. Now the next exercise in our textbook, number four, we're going to do the same thing, chord chord power theorem, but this time we're going to introduce a variable expression. Just like we did before, in this case we're going to say the red times the blue equals the orange times the green too. And we'll multiply, just remember adding that distributive property in here, and then we can solve it. Now that's pretty straightforward, but let's you know just do a check, make sure we got it right. And if I just introduce those numbers, let's see, I'm seeing 9 times 20, that's 180. 10 times 18, that's 180 as well. So remember, this segment is 20. And we're done. Now let's step up to exercise number 5. This is where the power theorems got their name. When we do our red times blue, we can see we're generating an x squared term, and hence the power. So let's do this one. I'm going to set this up, and we've got our same thing. Our red times blue equals our orange times green, too. And our next step, when we distribute, we can see right away uh, we got three terms. It's time for algebra 1. So let's turn this into a quadratic. And you know we're going to have to factor this quadratic. If you don't remember, maybe you can go back and say, oh yeah, my rainbow. The sets of whole numbers or integral values, which have a product of 48, they're colored pairs. And I can see I'm looking for one with a difference of 8. It's like I've got the 4 and the 12 right there. So let's go with that. And then... I know my zero product property gives me uh, these two expressions. And then I can say, well, I can solve that. And I've got the values of negative x's, the set of values negative 12 and positive 4. Now this is where um, algebra is going to end and geometry takes over. And I'm going to disregard the negative 12 in this case. And be careful, don't always disregard the negatives for the value of x. You have to substitute back in here. I've got a blue segment that's x. x cannot be 12 units, negative 12 units long. So I'm going to throw that one out. And I'm going to say x is 4. Nice thing to do at this point is to do a little check. Say, well, if I were to substitute back into the original expression, well, I've got 4 times 12 equals 6 times 8. That checks out all right. So the blue segment is 4, and the red segment is 12. So um, I guess we're, we're done with that, but if, let me shrink this up a little bit. For those of you that are still uncomfortable with, um, or you've forgotten your factoring, you could always fall back to the old ABC, and you can use one, and you've got your coefficients there, and just use your old quadratic formula, you'll get the same thing. Now this chord chord exercise, number 13, in our textbook also has two segments which have the variable x in them. So let's see what we get here. We set it up, same thing, red times blue, orange times green too. And this time you notice we do our multiplication, a little distributive over here, but it's pretty straightforward. You say, wait, no x squared term. Oh, this ends up being a pretty easy one. So we get down to our x equals 5. Let's just remember what we're really after. That means that this red segment 
actually becomes 10 units and this one becomes 8 units and let's just do that final check 10 times 12 120 15 times 8 also 120 that checks out okay okay let's move on and now let's do a practice work that's not from your textbook this is from the auxiliary worksheets that your teacher might be using but I thought this is important because we have to ask a different question we're using our power theorems but Let's stop solving for x and actually answer a question. How long are the chords? So make sure you answer the question. Don't stop with x here. We'll set it up the same as we've done. We've got red times blue equals orange times green too. So we've got, we've got the standard setup and this is, all right, it's looking like their power theorem. It's looking like the quadratic. We've got the x times the x. So we can see we have these quadratic expressions but this one's going to get a little bit easier because we can just subtract the x squareds. So right now this is, well, let's get through this. We can solve for x pretty quickly and x is going to be five. Now this is where we've got to, we've, we've got to go beyond x and actually answer the question. Now let's substitute back in. If I replace x with 5 in each of these expressions. I can replace 15. The blue segment is 6. The orange is 18. And the green is 5. And just for fun, let's, well, let's clear this up a little bit. Let's hide these. So we can just work now with our, our lengths that we've solved for. Great. Now, we could also do a little bit of a check here, make sure the power theorem holds. 15 times 6 does equal 18 times 5, so we're all set. The only thing remaining is to actually answer the question. I'm going to shrink this up a little bit. Oh, you guys go over there. And let's do the substitution. And or not much of a substitution, just add the two color segments together. And there you have it. You've got AB is 21 units, and the other core DE is 23.